We are learning to use doubling, near doubling and skip counting. Watch the warm up video to get your brains thinking. Guys, this is hot maths and this is more problem solving using our doubling number facts. We're going to be looking at some problems and you're going to use your knowledge of reading the problem, finding the important parts and using that to double what you need to. I'm going to do the first one with you guys and then you're going to have a go on your own. When we're pulling apart something like a number problem, we need to look for the key parts of that number problem or the problem that we have, to find out what our answer is. So I'm going to do another one for you. I collected nine sticks. If you found nine more, how many more would you have altogether? So there is a lot of words in there, but we're looking for the key parts. The key parts here are the numbers and how many more you need to add to that. We know we're adding because we've the question asks us how many more. So if I write, alrighty. So we're looking for those key words like take away or adding more, those kinds of words to help us figure out if we're adding or subtracting as well. Okay, the first key I can see is we have collect nine. Okay, so we're collecting nine of something. We've got nine something. So we can write that down, nine something. If I find nine more, this is the next part I can see. Nine more. So more is key for adding. So we're adding nine more to our already collected nine. And then it's asking us how many altogether. Okay. So here we're just doubling nine, which is 18. Okay. Let's do one more together. All right. We've got our next one. So I'll read it out to you. Collect 59 stones. If I have 60 more, how many altogether? So really similar to that first that one that we had, but this time we are doing a near double sum. I can tell that because we've got 59 and a 60. They're the two numbers we're dealing with. We've still got that key word is collect. So collect 59. So I'm already, I have 59 stones, so I can write that down. I already have that. I've collected it. If I have 60 more, so we've got that key again, more. So 60 more, we need to add the 60 more. How many altogether? Now here we need to start using our near doubles facts. Pause the video here and see if you can figure it out before we work it out together. Alrighty. The way I worked it out is I doubled six. What's double six? It's 12. And what we need to do is add a zero on. I also know that we have 59 here. So it's not 60 and 60. So I do need to take one away from that. So it would be 120 take one to make up for our 59. So 120 take, take one, what does it equal? 119. So I used double six, so we get 12, and then I added a zero, 
and then I took away one so we could figure out what it would have been if the number was 60 plus 59. So I took away one and that was my answer. Your task today is to look at the worded problems and see if you need to use doubles or near doubles to figure them out. Remember to look for the keywords that will help you. Also write out your number sentence to see if you use doubles or near doubles. Once you have done that, have a go at creating your own. Pause the video here and have a go at these doubling problem solving equations. Once you have done these, there's an extensions on Padlet. So have a look there if you want some more maths.